What are the three best AI tools that we can use if we want to help our students to study more effectively or if you're a student so that you can study more effectively? I'm going to show you three brilliant tools today. This topic is really close to my heart because I'm actually studying Polish and I'm using these tools almost on a daily basis. Also, the brilliant news is all of these tools have a really useful free version. Really hope you like the video and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it and of course join me on my YouTube channel. This is a tool that I've presented many times at conferences this year. I still absolutely love it. It keeps getting better. It's called naturalreaders.com and it allows students to paste in a text, choose a voice and then listen to that text being read out with an almost near perfect accent. I'm English and the accents in English are superb and friends of mine in Polish and in Spanish and French have told me also the same about the other languages. Uh, I'm going to click on it. I've simply, I don't even need to log in with this one which is wonderful. Just click on get started, choose personal. Now I'm going to paste in some text. I've got a bit of text here that I've copied and so I'm going to jump down by clicking on this button here and all I need to do is to choose the language so in this case it's going to be Spanish notice all the languages that you can choose from and once you choose once you've chosen the language you can choose a voice so I'm going to try this one here Arabella so I'm going to just click on that voice click away and now I'm hoping that this piece of text is going to be read out in a nice clear Spanish accent let me just see if it works La geografía de Venezuela se caracteriza por la presencia de diferentes regiones geográficas, cada una con sus propias características. La... Okay, well, I'm a pretty good speaker of Spanish. That I definitely recognize as a Spanish accent. And if I was to click here, I could change that to another voice or even another type of Spanish accent because this tool offers so many different accents. If I was to come down to Spanish, I might even find that there's perhaps Mexican Spanish or uh, let's just have a quick look here. For example, here we've got Mexican Spanish. So let's just try it, Mexican Spanish and uh, we'll try Beatriz and then uh, let's click and listen to this one. La Cordillera de los Andes, que atraviesa el país de oeste a este, es una de las regiones now that's absolutely brilliant and it's super useful for le reading and listening, something I love doing and thank God this technology works in Polish because I use it very often to read and listen to text at the same time. Now of course there are lots of other ways that you could use this technology and let me just show you another example. So let's say for example that I've got a few words that I'm finding it difficult to pronounce. I'm, I'm going to do an, an example now in English. I'm going to just write in some words. Of course you can paste in the text that you've copied but of course you can also write the words in. So I've written in some words here. So I need now to search by clicking here and obviously this time we're going to choose English and I'll do an English accent so I'm going to choose UK and we'll work with Sonia and I'm going to click away again and let's just listen to how Sonia pronounces these words. Now what I've done is I've put a little trick in here so that we've got a jump in stress so we've got photograph and then photographer. Let me see if this system can deal with that. Complex, untouchable, photograph, photographer, photo, penalty. It's absolutely superb. I find this really useful. Uh, pronouncing, for example, in Polish is pretty tricky and this really helps me a lot. Now there's a lot more to this tool. You can obviously use documents and upload documents, etc. There are, for example, ways that you can work with it. You can turn off the uh, subtitles at the bottom. I find them very useful. And you can even control the speed, but that's the basics of the technology and definitely one I would recommend to students. Okay, the next tool that I'm going to show you is definitely my favorite. I use YouTube a lot for studying languages and I speak several languages, but I'm studying Polish at the moment. And what it does is it will take any video from YouTube and it will extract the transcript very accurately. And it will also extract the audio and therefore it lays it out so that you can play the audio and read the transcript at the same time. And that therefore makes it very easy to copy any words and check them. So if there's any words in the transcript that you don't understand. But also you could take that transcript afterwards 
very easily and then put it into ChatGPT and get the ChatGPT to summarize the transcript or even, for example, to produce comprehension questions around it. So I'm gonna show you now those examples in action. Just one thing, lots of people ask me, Russell, how do you make your videos? And I have actually generated a new YouTube channel where I show people how I build my videos, how I built up my YouTube channel, etc. And if you're interested in that, I'll put the link on the screen now and you can click and subscribe to that channel. It's called Screencast Guru. Right, let's have a look at this tool, my favorite technology for studying on your own. So here's the technology, it's called TurboScribe.ai. I'm really impressed with it. You're allowed to uh, work with up to three videos per day and each video can be up to 30 minutes long, which is very long for language learning purposes. If you scroll down here, you can just see just how much I'm using this. Now let me just click on an example. Now obviously the work that I do is mainly in Polish. So if I click here on this example, what you can see is that the text has been extracted, but so has the audio. So if I click here, I can also play the audio as well. So let's click and listen. And another thing I really like is notice that it actually highlights what's being said. So that's really useful. Now, the important thing about this technology, apart from the quality of the transcript and the fact that it brings out the audio, is that you can then do quite a lot of things with it. And one of the things that you can do, which can be useful to teachers, is that you can actually download the audio file. You can't download the video using this system, but you can download the audio. And if you wanna use the audio in the classroom, you haven't got an internet connection, then that can be really useful. Now, I'm gonna show you some ideas using this technology in a minute, but what I wanna do first is show you exactly how you can extract the transcript from any video. It's super, super simple. It literally is just two button clicks. So I'm gonna use this video here. I'm gonna copy this link here at the top of the screen. This one we're doing in English. I'm gonna come back to our tool. I'm going to click on the uh, TurboScribe here and then just click on Transcribe File. And then I'm going to add in the link to that file by just clicking on this button here and pasting in the link. Now, first of all, it's going to bring that video in to the system. So just click on Import. Now what you need to do is you need to choose the language. And of course, it works in multiple languages. And in this case, we're going to be doing in English. Actually, the ladies in American English, so I'll, I'll choose American English. So I choose here the uh, language. Once you've chosen the language, what you do want to do, and I now advise people to use the whale because it's the most accurate, is now to click on transcribe. Okay, so add in the link, bring in the video, choose the language you want to work with, and then click on transcribe. And it will do this fairly quickly. Obviously, it will depend a little bit on your internet connection, etc. You can see it's already started. And we'll come back to this video in a second once it's uh, transcribed the whole of the video for me. Okay, let's click and have a quick look. And there it is. I've got the whole of the transcript. Now, there is, of course, the possibility that it's not going to be perfect because it will also depend on the quality of the audio, but the accuracy is very impressive. And, of course, we can click here. Welcome to London. Over the next minutes, I'm going to give you 30 essential tips that you need to know before you... Okay, and, of course, you've got the audio as well. Now, what I'm going to do next is start to look at some of these options here and see how we could link this to ChatGPT. Now, the third tool that I want to show you is actually working with ChatGPT and TurboScribe together. And I'm going to show you how you could take the transcript literally with just two button clicks, put it into ChatGPT and get it to, for example, extract the best vocabulary or the useful vocabulary to study or to summarize the text or even to produce comprehension questions based on the text. So this could be great from a teacher's point of view as well if you want to produce a lesson around a YouTube video. 
So, gonna show you those three things. Don't forget, if you want more free videos like the one that you're watching, then come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in making videos for language teachers and there's loads and loads of content. And if you wanna, you can sign up to the newsletter. And if you sign up to the newsletter, you will get a free 14 part mini video course in the key technologies that we can use in language teaching. There are no tricks, literally everything I suggest is free. Right, let's move on now to ChatGPT. So this is incredibly easy. Just come over to the right hand side once you've extracted the text and click on download docs. So click on here, presuming that if you've got Word on your computer, what's gonna happen is it's literally gonna open up that document. And of course it's downloaded it. Now, if we go over to ChatGPT, I don't know if you are aware of this, but if you come over to ChatGPT, I don't, know, I don't wanna save that. If I come over to ChatGPT, just gonna open up my ChatGPT. So I'm on ChatGPT, notice that you can upload a file. So I'm gonna click attach, and then I'm gonna just upload from my computer. So I go to my downloads, and of course, in my downloads now will be that uh, uh, script or that document, sorry. I'm gonna click on open, and that has now been opened up. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT, can you summarize this text for me? and also select 10 useful words. Let me just put that in again, sorry. 10 useful words to learn in English, okay? For example, and I'm just gonna press here on this button here, and I'm hoping that it's gonna be able to summarize that text, okay? And it's doing that now, and it's also there for, and they're gonna produce 10 words connected with that topic. Now see how easy it was for me to do that. Now let's just do one more example. Can you make me 10, let's say eight, sorry, ten, eight comprehension questions around the topic, around the script? Question mark. So I'm gonna press that now and I'm hoping that it's gonna produce for me some comprehension questions. Okay, and hopefully it'll also provide me with the answers. It often does. If it's not, we'd have to ask it to, and it does, yeah. Um, good, I'm just gonna ask it because it hasn't provided them. Can you give me the answers? And hopefully it's also gonna provide the answers to me as well, okay? So this is the sort of thing you can do, and it's so powerful, and if I just jump back, all I did was I extracted by clicking on download the doc, which then was in my downloads. I then uploaded that into ChatGPT and then began to ask ChatGPT PT to obviously do various things with it. Now, of course, once you've made some content in ChatGPT, you wanna copy it, you just click on this button here, and that will copy that text. Each section will need to be copied. So I've also got here the comprehension questions. And now again, I would have to paste that into Word. Uh, really, really useful. Okay, really hope you like the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live 
and we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month or sometimes it's two technologies and we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training. This training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.